All right. So Scylla, tier two. All right. Oh, okay. This is where we were. So Roseway, let's do it. I like the little animation. Just we're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. All right. Let's go do it. Hey guys, the Hacker Nerd here. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more awesome content. Let's get started with the video. Hey guys, how's it going? The Hacker Nerd here. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Last episode, we made it to the Groundbreaker and uh, our ship is now impounded. So we need to go talk to Udom, what's his face? And uh, so that's just something we're gonna do eventually. But the two other things that we're kind of working on is um, there was Gladys, I think her name was, who was the person that Phineas asked us to go talk to about getting a nav chip or a nav key or something. So now she's got us going on another mission to uh, make some 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 uh, bits bits I think they call the the currency in the game. Uh, so that way we can actually purchase the nav key. And then so that's what we're doing. Um, I, I figured out at the end of last episode why uh, Junle was not selected. It's because I keep forgetting when you're in the journal you actually have to double click. I just clicked it once. So that, that, that's what's going on there. Anyway, we're going to go talk to Junlei because uh, Parvati was interested in meeting her. To me, okay. Uh, but we're going to go do that. Game is getting really interesting. Looking go forward to playing this after the stream. Awesome. Bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. Oh. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is the mystery. Oh. Oh, that's, oh, that's, oh, no. That's not good. Okay. What's up, dude? Is his name Greasy? I like it. I like it. I approve. It's over here. Armory. Ooh, if I had the money to spend, I would totally get stuff from you. I guess it's really hot in here. This is Halcyon News. Those XF 411s? And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? I am going to test fate here. Test my luck. Mm, oh, look here. What do you think you're doing? I'm just, I'm just leaving. Uh, I was just leaving. Uh, just be careful next time. <laughs> I love that I could do that. Stealing, okay. Armor parts. Armor parts. I just want the mag locks because that lets me lock pick things. I could do some tinkering, but I don't have the money for it. Okay, let's uh go talk to Junli. Junli Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Uh, order night. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, nice place to get here, Chief. Uh, let's uh, just be nice to her immediately. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. <laughs> just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Hmm. Uh, I can do whatever I can to help the peace. Yep. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. Okay. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Just passing through. Uh... Hmm. I don't know if I want to let her in on the plan to do what we're trying to do. We're just passing through. Statistics don't lie. <laughs> we see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Why, thank you. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let Parvati talk to her. What? I didn't think you just... <laughs> Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. 
What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Mm. <laughs> uh, nudger. Okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. Yes. You can ask me anything. Um, I don't want to be, I don't want to seem like I'm just trying to dump her off. So I'm not going to choose the first one. Silently encourage Parvati. I like that one. Wow, great. I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said. <laughs> Sorry. I like it. Honest. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, nice job, Parvati. Uh, yeah. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. <laughs> now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Yeah, you know, I should probably use my mouse so you guys see what, what I'm what I'm focused on. Um Okay, we'll be on our way. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and get that going. Skills. I look I look so menacing with my poison dagger. So there was something I was wanting to beef up. Uh 26 was a dodge. Persuade. Long range critical damage. That would be nice. Getting that up to 40. If I just pumped it into range, then I'd get both of those up to 40. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, defense would be good. Persuade. I've been enjoying that. Yeah, let's go ahead and get up to 40 that up. Nice. So now we have heavy weapons, critical damage. Handgun, critical damage, and heavy weapons, critical damage. So now I'll be able to do some damage. That's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and apply that. And then uh, journal, codex, of course it... Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So next, I guess I should have went to the journal then. Uh, I return to the unreliable and ask her about Junlei. Okay. Ask it about the same unit, so that's back on the ship. One to door skit in sick bay. Let's go ahead and just knock this up. This is Halcyon. Spratwurst. Oh, those are sprat. Okay, that's the things that have been running around. So they're effectively like rats or whatever. A couple of bits in Vera's pool. B and B Boston baked beans. When you need to eat, and I know Boston she's in there and food. Uh. You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Doctor Fenhill. I am not. And I'm just gonna continue walking on by. Hello. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain. If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Uh oh. Uh, shipment won't be coming in soon. What's going on? I'm not going to get into the weeds with any crazy in-depth stuff. Uh, and I'm not going to be overly rude to her, so let's go with two. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Uh, we need the service. Well, I mean, that's none of my business. Right, I'll be on my way. <laughs> I mean, I know I could probably be picking up uh, all kinds of side missions and stuff here, but I feel like everybody I talk to has got something to do. So if I ever need the units, I mean, I, technically I kind of do right now, but I'm already doing... Whoa, you look kind of rough. Oh, yeah, dirt on you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, once I do this other mission for Gladys, and I can see where I am. See if I need more units from that point or bits, I guess. I'll get it figured out at the time when the time comes. Talk to Dr. Wonder. 
Let's update door set and well, I mean I did that, right? I guess I gotta talk to her more. Keep hanging around and I'll begin to think you're here for me. <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, what's going on? I'm expecting our delivery fellow to stop through with medical supplies and service auto mechanicals. Name's Captain Erion. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Mm, I could try to find him. I mean, I I'd guess. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Gotcha. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Hmm, well, that that's going to be weird because... Oh, oh, I didn't mean to I'll do begin that. begin to think you're here for me. What can I do for you? Oops. Uh, nothing for now. You have yourself a day, then. I will have a day. Okay. So the thing is, uh... Hmm, I can't leave, necessarily. Because my ship's impounded. Yeah, uh, so that would have to be something that happens after I get my ship situation figured out. Okay, um, stress signal, recording on the ship. Sir Hawthorne's terminal for clues. And then we have passage to anywhere. Ship, ship, eventually ship, ship, ship. Okay, we're gonna go talk to Udom. And again, I I always forget about that. Double click. There we go. Some of the questions can be strange, like Vicar joining your ship. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, these guys, guys just let me walk up with any sort of problems. All right, works for me. I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. Okay. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the... Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. You must be the captain of the Unreliable. Mm -hmm. The vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Hmm. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh, no. Alex is dead. Forget Alex. Why did you impound my ship? I'm going to wring your scrying neck. Ooh. Alex is important. Oh, I could turn in Phineas. Oh, that's rough. Uh, Alex is dead. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Um, sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. Uh, I don't want to be rude to him in his time of mourning. So I want to assume he, he was, was my dearest friend. Yeah. My only friend. Oh, man. You have his ship. You must know that picture of us on the promenade. Me hugging him. Him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Oh, my. Did he? Hmm. I really wouldn't know. It must have been lost with Alex then. One more tragedy to top the pile. Tell me, how did he die? He was eaten alive by feral canids. He died in an escape pot accident. Uh, you don't want to know the details. Hmm. I mean, so this is a point where if I if I just told him what happened, uh, he might be curious as to why I was in an escape pod or why the escape pod hit him or if he could he could probably try to pull that information out of me. I could either just say trust me you don't want to know the details or lie to him. Let's say uh, let's say three. You don't want to know the details. You're quite right of course. Best not to pry into such dismal things. Again very sorry. Can we get back to the topic at hand? Yes. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from nice. the ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go, Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Ooh. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? 
anything at all? <sighs> Alex never mentioned him. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Okay, I think we navigated that pretty good. Um, it's not a board about the board having your head. Uh, I know where to find Phineas Wells. Wanted to ask you something else. I think we're good. Thank you. All right, I didn't ruffle any feathers there. Everything's nice and easy. All right. Um, so, let's see what we got here. Okay. All right. Now, key celebrate from Gladys. Dress. Oh, oh, okay. So I need to go to Terra Two anyway. So, so now that I've um, talked to dude, now my ship's like good to go. Now I can go to both Terra Two and um, Scylla. Scylla. However you say that. We'll do the side quest first, and then the main mission after. So that means. Let's just go ahead and uh, work away from the bottom to the top. News packet had the toss ball scores from the Connors. A hard cider for a hard life. Oh, that's not the way I wanted to go. I mean, I talked to your person for you. Yeah, okay, let's see what we got. Uh, do I need to sell stuff? I mean, technically I could break some of that down. Light assault rifle. As opposed to assault rifle. Oh, okay. Okay. So it requires heavy. That requires heavy as well. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm good. Let's go back to the ship. Which way do I need to board the other side? Music reminds you of Starbound. I've actually never played Starbound. I do like the music in the game so far. I mean, it's, it's kind of light, but it's interesting. Who's this? Hey, you got a second? Uh, yes, and you got equipment. You trying to join my ship? Hey, we don't know each other yet, but I'm Felix Millstone. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you oh, passed me by. Oh, right. I noticed your ship in port. Got to thinking you might be looking for some crew, so I wandered by. Just to take a closer look. Okay. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Hmm. Uh, Tyler, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. Are you stalking me? Uh, pretty eager. Yeah. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Uh, tell me why I should hire you. Trying to convince me to hire you, you're going about it all wrong. Let's go ahead and ask him why I should hire you. You're serious, you're giving me a shot. All right. Uh hang on, hang on. I put together a little speech. <laughs> awesome. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Okay. <laughs> uh are you reading off your hand? Yeah. It's a second draft. <laughs> Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. Okay. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. So he's going to be combat focused. That's cool. Um, let him continue. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away Ooh. or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. Okay. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. <laughs> I look forward to our adventures together. Okay. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? I kind of like him. Am I in? Uh. 
You're dragging off body shootouts. What the hell kind of ship you think I'm running? <laughs> the fun kind? I mean, what else do you do when you got a ship of your own? Got a point there. Uh, good answer. Welcome aboard. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. All right. We got a crew now, Felix. Interesting. All right. Well, let's uh let's see. We, we can equip him. Now. Holy crap. The hammersmith. A grenade launcher. Ha. Huh. He's got a uh, toss ball stick. I mean, sure. It does electrical damage. <laughs> I ain't going to complain. Uh, so we have armor. He's got melee weapon skills plus five. Ten. I think that's the highest. Oh, I mean, I could give him a helmet. Stealth skills. Stealth skills. Lockpick. Sure, I'll give him my armor. Because he's going to be out uh, on the field. Might as well give him something. And also, there was a setting I found in in, in the options to where um, even if you put the helmet on your, your NPCs or your, your party members, your friends, whatever, uh, your crew, it shows their face still. So that way, I, I find that kind of interesting. So can we put that on him? <laughs> I do like that. I think that's funny. Okay, 310. We'll, we'll give him that back. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, I like it. So what do you have? Uh, we have one perk available. So base health, threat generated, threat generated, or persuade. All right, let's give him some health. Alrighty, and what's this? Uh, back, let's go ahead and apply that. And then what is this? Uh, that says, oh, you can set specific behaviors. Interesting, okay. Weapon mixed. Mode aggressive, let's... Let's do... Okay. Only attacks targets the companion has been explicitly told to. Once told to attack a target, the companion continues to fight until combat is over. The companion always engages and attacks when the player enters combat. Yeah, okay, well, we, we can do aggressive, that's fine. Cool. We can do that with her as well, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. So what's her, what's her stuff? Uh, yeah, okay, go to me. All right, let's get in the ship. the unreliable uh, I am alert and awake she was That's snoring me. I take our ship security highly seriously mm, okay um so let's go ahead and look through our journal so cleaning machine ask it about the same unit let's do that should have did that earlier but didn't realize it welcome back captain how can I be of assistance uh, know anything about the autumn mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet? I'm in the mood for some entertainment. I'm curious, but I'm going to ask about the autumn mechanical. The unit is a cleaning, Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. Okay. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters... We may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Okay, uh, picked up a distress call. Playback? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's, there's viscera and death everywhere. Ugh. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh oh. Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Okay. Uh, I'd like to learn more about the colony. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Uh, the Groundbreaker Chair 2... Actually, I'm good. How can I be of assistance? I want some entertainment. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? 
Tell me a joke. A neutron walks into a bar and asks, how much for a Rizzo's rum and something? Leering, the bartender replies, for you, no charge. Okay. Okay. Well played. Well played. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. I wouldn't call that a strong jingle, but that's fine. Uh, thanks. My pleasure, Captain. All right, that's enough for now. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Okay, uh, talk to you later. I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. <laughs> okay, then. Good to know. Okay, what else we got? Um, So I'm going to have to search the terminal. We'll do that in a moment. Uh, ask Parvati about Junlei. Okay. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Mm, sure. So Junlei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it, because poems are all symbolic and such, right? Right. It's not so good, but real sweet. Aww. Uh, comes from heart, you say? Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. <laughs> I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. Ooh. It sings. That's nice. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady. <laughs> it's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. Oh. Uh, sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet or... If I'm misinterpreting, I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Oh, boy. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. All right. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Oh, my. Uh... Do, 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 do. Do, do. You're about the warmest person I ever met. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Junlei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm going to change that. Right now. All right. Okay. Here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends. Got to thinking. Isabel. Uh oh. Who's, who's Isabel? Uh, everything okay? They were close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Uh-oh. Uh, they were close? I don't know. June and I <laughs> talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Got a point there. Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Sounds good. Um, if that's what you want, next time we hit the ground, break here, drinks are on me. Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. All right, that's cool. <laughs> it's kind of an unexpected turn. Take priority. Okay, we'll do that later. Hawthorne's terminal. We'll do that later. Secrets on Roseway. Hawthorne's terminal. Distress call. We kind of did that. Uh, so we need to talk. We need to check out Hawthorne's terminal, it looks like. So it's going to be, of course, double click. There we go. All right. Um, search term Sam. First Sam result. Do not forget, he found a discarded sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical in Emerald Vale's scrap heap during your hour during your last job. It should not be too difficult to get it up and running. With a few key modifications, a, uh, I can envision a combat capable variant. Some might say a clean, mean killing machine. All right, 
second same result. Removal of factory standard part suds steeper was successful. Uh, delivery of combat modified replacement part acid steeper has been delayed. Uh oh, progress setback is estimated now to be a solid three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to. Ah, but I do. Okay, third same result. I'm giving up hope on the delivery. The part is lost in transit. It's not turning up anytime soon. But good news. I heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows the broker. Whoever charged me for the information regarding the location of an acid steeper, I can er filch. Okay. Uh, the part was sent to an old storage facility on Roseway. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. I picked it up following the next pit stop back to Emeraldville. Wells wanted me to chaperone some person of interest. Details come later. Ooh. Okay. Uh, we got logs. Okay. Doing logs. Shrink ray. Hammer power. Black market leads. Let's see what that is. Mm, I'm good. Oh. Uh, return to root. Messages from me, apparently. From Tennyson. Okay. Uh, okay. From Junlei to Parvati. Oh, this is the poem. Okay. Whatever. I'm just going to read it real quick. Um, oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. And let's see if there's anything else. Another one from Tennyson. My friends. Me, my wrench. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Talking about friends, you know, I got to thinking about Isabel. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what she was thinking. We were a mess. A good mess, but a mess. I'm a better me than I was then. I want you to know when I drink too much of the old family recipe. Pretty swell party tea. Damn you, instant spell check. Meet my wrench. Okay. Too tired, just going to put my head down. Okay. Um, hmm. That is a little crazy and confusing. Anything else here? Nope. Okay, let's go ahead and leave this. Uh, there was another thing. More science weapons can be found. Okay. I mean, I'm going to guess. Okay. So these are the things. Okay. 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 So the shrink ray. Um, we already got that one. So that's not a problem. Let's check the uh, hammer power. Captain's note. Black market leads. No, no. Two, please. There we go. Uh, last time I got sloshed. I mean, I was imbibing at the last hope. The grounds breaker. Look, Udon was really f free with the drinks. He seems like an okay fellow. Shamelessly, but subtly eavesdropped on two Mardets, yammering on about a mad scientist who's got some years back. Oh, a mad scientist some years back who claimed he'd made a huge discovery that would change the fate of a colony. Like none of us ever heard that one before. But his, here's the good part. The Mardets said the mad scientist kept yelling about the hammer, hammer's power or something similar. Strange weapon with special power created by a crazy lab coat. Sure fits the bill. Could be another one of the weapons that inspired Wells. Okay. Uh. I mean, Lost Hope. If I go to the Lost Hope, I mean, I, we got to go there anyway. Keep doing that. Uh, maybe we'll poke around there and see if we can find something. Um, oh yeah, John, uh, I noticed you got your 500 hours earlier. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations, man. All right. Um, do appreciate you hanging out and doing all you do, but okay. Uh, acquire, acquire the science weapon on the groundbreaker. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, we'll do that momentarily. So, I mean, uh, I guess we can do that now before we leave. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. And guys, I know this is a terrible place to do this, but I'm going to take a second and make a cut. But uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, life happens. So <laughs> let's go and get back into it. Uh, anyway, so we have uh, weapons from the void. Um, acquire the science, science weapon on the groundbreaker. We'll do that momentarily. We got the Roseway. Stellar Bay from Gladys. Okay, so... 
I didn't have acid steeper. Okay. Hawthorne planned to replace Sam Sud's steeper with an acid steeper. So Roseway is where I need to do a lot of this stuff. So we can do it by location. There we go. Okay, so let's um on Scylla. Okay. Let's go and go to Roseway. Yeah, let's do that. Distress call is kind of important. We can come back to the groundbreaker at any time. Alright, so Scylla, Terra 2. Alright. Oh, okay, this is where we were, so Roseway, let's do it. I like the little animation, just... We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. All right. Let's go do it. I'll lock up. Oh, oh, what was that? Okay. So, I can have two companions now. That's really cool. Okay, so we have arrived. No guards, huh? I like this place already. Hmm. What's this? Okay. Uh, insert captain's identification cartridge to initiate remote landing. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So yeah, no guards. That's kind of interesting. Um, looks like some bad things may happen down there. Just gonna run around here see if there's anything interesting. So what are my weapon options? Got that rifle, got the minigun, got the shrink ray, and got the knife. I think that's a pretty decent loadout. Vending machine discovered. Oh, there's all kinds of vending machines down here. Purple berry punch. Okay, we'll load up on that. I'm sure that's gonna be helpful at some point. Stogie slips. There's such weird little things to pick up in the game. I'm gonna go with Old Faithful for a bit. Can't. I was hoping maybe I could climb through. Inside voices. Yeah, right. Exactly. Okay. Um. Anything back here? Can I mess with those? Nope. All right. Let's go. Is there anything down here to worry about? I hear a snake. Ooh. There's something moving down there. Ooh. Something chewed clear through that armor. Elite armor. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I think I might put that on immediately. So elite armor gives me block and stealth skills. It removes some stealth skills, but it gives me twenty six. Or it's, I guess, twenty six rated. Um. Oh goodness. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put that on for now. And then I guess the hat, lockpick plus five. Sure. Why not? We can look all intimidating and badass. Handy that. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the footsteps are back and forth in my headphones. It's weird. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but. Evicted. All right. Although the, the feet are all heavy when you run. Ooh, okay. Figure out what's going on here. There's another dude laying out there. Let's check it out. Please clear, 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 clear the roadway. Obstruction of commerce is punishable by a fine of no less than 10 and no offense. Oh, oh, uh oh. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Oh, I like that. I, I like that gun. Successful attack while sneaking inflicts extra damage. I'm still burning. Okay, there we go. I was not prepared for that. I was just going to go in here and check it out and then... Auto mag pistol. Ooh. 
I like all this stuff. I'll get better at combat in this game. I just gotta, just gotta take some time. Old Journal Dad, I'm reading this on the odds that you find your way back here. Sorry I wasn't here to see you. They're moving us out of town, all of us. I don't know where we're going, hoping that wherever it is, they've got a lab as nice as Roseway's. We're gonna do some good work, real science for once. I don't know why they're moving us, and I don't know when we'll see each other again. Uh, and Dad, do me a favor and burn this journal. I'm not allowed to even mention the name Roseway. As far as corporate's concerned, this town never existed. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh my. Okay. Dehydrated water tab <laughs> tablets. Oh, that's great. That's that's hilarious. Alright. Uh, I have to be more mindful of everything around here. Oh, I see some lockpick things. They're stuck on the, the thing in the road. The the, the mauler. Okay. Can I grab this thing and move it? Nope. Okay. There's just guns laying around everywhere. I mean, I'm okay with that. More stuff for me. Candidates, all right. It's very ominous. Is that gunfire? Oh, wow, okay. Is there anything worth checking out around here? God, so many dead people. Lab protective monocle. Persuade plus five, okay. I mean, I could put on the lab coat before I go walking in here. Maybe it'll make it seem a little less obvious. Tech skills. Persuade. Okay. I think I'm good. Good with what I got right now. I done had enough of this shit. <laughs> I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Okay. Uh, what happened here? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Mm. Uh, who's in charge? Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Oh, okay. Uh, did you have him caged up? Um, forget I said anything about that. Okay. Did you send a distress call? Distress call? From here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Okay. Why not? Got me. I just do what I'm told. And I was told not to do such. All right. Fair enough. Okay, I want to take a look around. Oh, before I forget, Anti Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. Ooh. More corporate craziness. All right. Oh, man. I'm just going to kind of look around here a bit, see if there's anything worth looting. Loot all the things. Weapon parts, heavy ammo. I'll always use some heavy ammo. Whoa. 
Welcome back, Warrior Nut. Roseway Luxury Apartments. Okay. Chicken. What's up, buddy? Can you talk to the chicken? I mean, it says talk, but... <laughs> okay. Nothing there. I was hoping to get some very useful information from it, but I guess that's not the case. Okay, where am I supposed to be going? Over here to the distress call where the comms is. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. <laughs> okay. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Um, right the first time. Okay, no. Uh, did you send this distress call? Uh, yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, good night, Haggard. Loving the game so far. Have a great weekend. Uh, Kakoska, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Let me get your popper and a bean, as is tradition, and reset my chat because that's a thing that I've already told them about, and hopefully they're fixing. There we go. We get your popper. Oh, man. Get you another popper. <laughs> there we go. That's proper. Proper popper. That's a, that's a lot of stuff together. Okay. Uh, and bean. Okay, and then this one's probably going to be dead fish. No! No, it's good! It's strawberry banana smoothie. It's really good. Finally, a good bean for once. Oh, man. But, uh, Kakaska, I appreciate that. Your support means a lot. It's much appreciated. All right. But, yeah, have a good night. <laughs> Must apologize if my call diverted you. Okay. Under control. Because you'd panic in the first place. Yeah. Um, there we go. An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. Mm, what are you researching? But why cancel the distress call? My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. Right. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Hmm. Um, I am curious. I think they'd want to be notified. Well, I guess you don't need my help. Uh, I mean, I could do that and end it. But I am curious. Yeah. No, please, hold a moment. Our security forces have proven themselves to be quite worthless. <laughs> okay. You seem someone not averse to risking your life if the pay were right. Might I interest you in an arrangement of sorts? Uh, it depends on what you need from me. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs, and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. Mm okay. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Um, if you tell me what you're researching, I'd have a better idea what's at stake here. I like that one. What are the other ones? Remove Cretans, do the research. Check. Lower Dramatic. Malcontents, Cretans. Uh, let's ask him. Uh, yeah. You tell me what you're researching and have a better idea what's at stake here. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make this situation any worse. All right. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, now, wifey is just going to be surprised. So if you want to do that, do that. And she'll ask what's going on, but... She'll, she'll hop on chat and see what's going on. Uh, you have a point there. I most sadly cannot make this any sure. Okay. What is this about toothpaste? One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? Uh, only if you like me to punch you in the throat. All right. Arturo got another big popper. Oh, man. You're going to be cleaning up again. 
All right, let me let me cover up my uh my drink here, so I don't get all the the stuff in it. All right. All right. Uh, let's make it bigger at least. All right. Oh man. Oh man. Here it goes. Hit. Congratulations, John, for hitting 500 hours. Yeah, that's all right. Wait. That's weird. Okay. Uh oh, it's coming apart. Okay. That makes me nervous. It says it's this way. Okay. Okay. Ah! It's so loud. It's so loud. And it's so messy. Everywhere. Ah, oh, there's a hole in my ceiling now. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. oh, this one has hearts in it. That's great. Okay. Uh, but congratulations, John, and uh, thank you, Nero, for picking that up from the shop. It's a fun thing. The mess is just everywhere. I can't stress, like, how messy this is. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. I think I'm good to go. Oh, no, there's some of my beard. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get back. <laughs> so much, so much confetti everywhere. There we go. How about that? Does that work? I think that works. Never seen you do that one before. Yeah, that's a that that's that's an expensive one in the shop. There's a reason why it's an expensive one in the shop because uh, number one, it's expensive for me to buy. Well, not really super expensive, but it's 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 pricier than the little poppers. And uh, it takes me a while to clean up, so <laughs> it's a, it's a fun pain in the ass. That's what it is. All right, how's my water? Okay, cool. All right, but uh, yeah, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> okay, uh, one cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. There's stuff on my monitor too. Okay, may I continue? Please do. Yeah, let's please do. While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Ever. Okay. Uh, it's still just toothpaste, diet toothpaste. Uh, sure. Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet toothpaste. Ultimate. Um... Any more, okay. Yes, but don't kill the mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. Okay. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the grand architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. Okay. Jameson. My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. Mm. Sure, I'll find him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. Believe their lives mean nothing more to you than paperwork. All I care about is how it affects you. Yeah, I mean, you know, I care about is how it affects you. Uh, I don't believe their names mean nothing more than. I don't believe their lives mean nothing more to you than paperwork. Yeah. Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness. Oh, okay. You must see how one could do that, can't you? Yep. It's just that their constant complaining can begin to wear. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. It's infuriating. Hmm. Guess I'll uh, take your word for it. Okay. So there's some gas here somewhere. There's all kinds of interesting things around here. Mag pick. He didn't say anything. Heavy ammo. Big cartridge. Don't mind if I do. 
They didn't notice. That's funny. Okay, let's see what our missions have, or what's set up for us. Find Anton safe. You've been asked to recover research data in the safe in Anton Crane's office. Okay. Where is the safe? I feel like it's like staring right at me. Oh, is this it? But like, but like it's open. Okay. Okay. Uh, I must be confused. Eliminate the outlaws, deal with the Rapidons. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Scylla. Search for secrets in Roseway. Jameson. Okay. So these are all just piling up. <laughs> okay. I don't know about Dr. Crane's research, but we ought to find Mr. Jameson. He's got to be all alone and scared. Yeah, right. Oh, that's kind of gross. All right, before we continue on, I think this is going to be a good place to go and wrap up this episode. Next episode, we will continue on out here and uh, see what's going on in this area. See if we can go uh, rescue that dude and, and continue on with the story. But guys, hopefully you're enjoying this playthrough of The Outer Worlds. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, leave a like. I'd appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> I just blinked. That's all it was. But anyway, guys, uh, do, do, do me a favor and share the videos and all that good stuff because it helps us grow and be super cool of you. But guys, be awesome. Be excellent to each other. And I got you another video. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.